Hey guys, so my name's Jen and I decided to do the six art style challenge. Art style challenge. So the first art style is my art style. So if you've never watched my channel before and you're not, you don't know about my art, I do very cartoony art that looks like this. Sometimes they have like bean eyes and noodle arms, but it's either like they're with the real eyes in a more realistic style or it's very cartoony. Um, yeah, so then I chose to do Adventure Time. Now with Adventure Time, I remember as a kid watching all the YouTube videos on how to draw my self in Adventure Time style. That's how I discovered Echo, and Echo's amazing. You guys could go check her out. Um, I did re-watch that video for all time's sake. But you can see how Adventure Time style has influenced my characters hectically. Although, my characters have noses. Adventure Time characters don't have noses. But then at least the animal ears worked. For some reason, my um, avatar always has panda ears on. I wanted to include the whole thing that I like pandas into my aesthetic, but it's so difficult. Anyway, so then the next one, the next style was Tim Burton. And I loved Tim Burton as a kid. Although the whole thing of him saying that he doesn't like including black people in his movies was a bit weird, I must admit. So it makes it very difficult to support a lot of these creators, but anyway. I I enjoyed the art style from Tim Burton. And then the other side of it, I drew Gravity Falls. Gravity Falls was like my favorite show as a kid. Me and my friend Jade used to like conspiracy theory about it all the time. It's great. Same thing, I used to watch that on Echo as well on how to draw myself in a Gravity Falls style. Um, yeah, I like how the Gravity Falls me came out. It was very cute. <laughs> And then the next one... Simpsons! Yes, I remember, sorry. Um, I turned the entire Friends cast into the Simpsons at one point as well. If you want to go watch that video, it will be up somewhere here. Yeah. Because, you know, for shits and giggles. And then lastly, I did the Rick and Morty style. Now, the problem with the Rick and Morty style, right, is... Justin Rowland has caused so much shit now with his controversies. And don't get me wrong, I don't support that. I don't support talking to minors. Don't support any of that, okay? I just like the art style and I enjoyed the show and it's a bit of a difficult one where it's I kind of like the whole Harry Potter situation where we don't support JK Rowling but we can still like Harry Potter and yeah I don't know creators need to like sort of their stuff I feel bad for people that like want to cover their Rick and Morty tattoos now before what happened and I have a lot of Rick and Morty stuff in my room so yeah, I need it to process. But I had to really sketch this out like last year. That's why I was like, oh fine, I'll finally make this video. So that's why I included it because I'm more and more talking about the art style and not the voices of characters. <laughs> but yeah, tell me guys which one is your favorite. If I should change my style to be one of more one of these. <laughs> if you would like to see a part two, maybe I do like Steven Universe and all the other styles. Otherwise guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next Thursday. Bye!